Good afternoon, everybody. It is it's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Um, I am here in the workshop room. There is no workshop going on today. It's all about me and my April makes. Um, I haven't got absolutely everything that I've touched in April because that would just be crazy. Uh, because as you know, I'm so-and-so for starting things and having ideas and testing things out and so on. And some of the things are top secret as well, so you'll find out about them later in the year. But let me just tell you first off what I am wearing. This is Grow from the Rowan magazine, from this season's Rowan magazine, mag number 71, this one. Um, Grow is in creative linen. I haven't made this. Um, let me just get the pattern out. This was knitted for me. I do try and have something knitted. I can't keep up. There are that many patterns that come out every season that I fall in love with. That I just can't keep up with it. So I had this one knitted for me by a wonderful knit. done a great job of it. And it's this one. It's Grow by Lisa Richardson and it's in Creative Linen. And it actually only starts, the smallest size is five pounds of Creative Linen. And it feels really lovely. And Creative Linen does wear really well. So this is Grow and that's from Magazine 71. Now, I have a crib sheet here just to remind me of what I am going to talk to you about today. Um, the first project I'm going to talk to you about, I'm going to put on a really sad voice because I'm really sad about it. Um, I knitted Zoom by Martin Story from the Rowan Easy Style book in Big Wool. And it's gorgeous, or it was gorgeous. Um, I finished it at the weekend. I was really, really delighted that I'd finished it. I'd sewn on this huge button border. And then I wet blocked it. And when I took it out of the sink, I left it in the sink for 30 minutes. When I took it out, it was like this. I couldn't quite hold it. It was like, I described it today to Amy as, um, it was like children's slime. It just kept slipping through my fingers. And I don't know if I've ruined it. It has grown a bit. Um, I put an SOS call in yesterday to my friend Juliet, who's the most superb knitter. Juliet used to be the editor of the Knitter magazine. And she said to me, oh, that's not good. I went, no, no. And she said it can be very temperamental. So it's on blocking mats. I keep pushing it up to try and put it back to size. Fingers crossed it's going to be okay. But at the moment it is still drying. So that's my disaster of the month. Um, I also, let's stick with Rowan first off because I will show you. I have been doing this, which is the Rowan Built World Knit Along. Designed by Georgia Farrell. It's in Rowan Pure Wool Worsted. Um, not great pictures, sorry, they're not very big, but this is it. I am, I love a Rowan knit along. The Rowan have done quite a lot of knit alongs over the years. I've done quite a lot of them. Um, it's because they use this yarn, the Rowan Pure Wool Worsted, which I just love. It's 100% superwash wool and it's just gorgeous and comes in some beautiful colours as well. So I am making one of the cushions. Um, there are, it runs for six weeks, there's been two weeks so far. I have done, it's themed around different cities in the world. So this one is Rotterdam, which was week one. I've only done one of them. Quite a nice square to knit, but not my favourite square to look at. A bit too geometric for me, I think. And then, there you go. Don't panic me, I've not lost the other one. Then I am on Toronto, which is this. I am going to do another one of these. This was a so-and-so square to knit because no pattern was the same. No row of the pattern was exactly the same. And I just couldn't get it in my head. So I need to do another one of those. And then London was out last Friday and I haven't done that one yet. So that's on tonight's agenda. Um, so I am just doing one of each square at the moment. And I need 12 squares to do the full cushion. But I may make a smaller cushion because the full cushion is almost like a pillowcase size. I may make a smaller cushion with eight squares. So I'm gonna do a square from every week and then the squares that I really like, I'm just going to do more of. I don't, this life's too short to knit something you don't enjoy knitting. Um, so that is that. Let me show you. That is that, obviously. My colours, I'm doing them in those three colours because that will go in my lounge. Um, and I'm all about mixing colours up at the moment. I seem to be quite enjoying using a lot of colour. Um, so there you go. And I'm on my trusty Knit Pro little short needles. I do like a short needle. Um, so that is the Built World Knit Along by Georgia Farrell. Um, <clears throat> I am actually over at Rowan tomorrow to see Autumn Winter. I have seen Autumn Winter on a Zoom, but I'm actually going over to see David at Rowan tomorrow, which is always exciting because I love the team at Rowan and we haven't obviously seen much of each other over the last couple of years. 
Um, so it would be really, really nice to see them in the flesh. Now, onto something different. I have just been sat with Amy, showing her my progress on the recoat tablecloth and how much I'm enjoying doing it. Now, I haven't done a lot, but look, it's, get, it's getting there. This was my edition on Monday. It was bank holiday weekend here at the weekend in the UK and I had such a great bank holiday weekend. I just sat on the sofa and I knitted and cross-stitched and sewed and crocheted and did all sorts. So there you go, that's where I am up to at the moment. It's not the neatest on the back, let me show you. But this is the first embroidery kit I have ever done. Embroidery is not my thing. I thought I may find it relaxing. I actually find it really relaxing. Um, it's so easy to lose an hour when you're doing it, it really is. Only two stitches on this, and the stitches are, have diagrams on the packaging to tell you how to do it. Um, so it's really simple to pick up and put down. And what's really nice is you can pick it up, and there's not a lot of commitment from you, so you can pick it up and think, I'll just stitch that bit, and it might take me 30 minutes, it might take me 15 minutes. Um, so it's lovely to just pick up and put down, and I do quite enjoy that process of getting it out and looking at it and folding it all away. Um, so say this is one of the Rico tablecloth kits. This is the pansies, which is... I've got my glasses. I did forget my glasses initially. That was the first. So th this, is that, this is the one that I'm doing. And then there are also some beautiful ones with some nice little yellow flowers. And then a blue kit as well. Um, so yeah, embroidery. Who knew embroidery would be something I would enjoy so much? But I really, really, really am enjoying it. Um, so that's my embroidery. Now, into my doctor bag. I love this bag. And I, love, I don't know what state is in here, by the way. We might have to do some editing, Amy, if I open this up and it's a real wreck. Um, I just like, I like the opening of this. Hoodstock pattern, this. just love it, it just all works and it's all neat and nice. I don't keep it very neat and nice, but I do really, really, really like this bag. Um, so the Hoodstock, let me show you a picture. This is from our festival make along, which we've been doing in our Facebook make along group. Um, so many of you are making things with Sirdar stories. It's a really, really, really lovely yarn. Um, it feels almost velvety, I think, from memory. In fact, let me check a ball band rather than tell you from memory. I think it's 60% cotton. It is. It's 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. But it's got a really nice, soft feel to it. And it is, somebody did describe it as almost velvety, and it really is. So I, I love this, and I know I'm going to really like wearing it. But for some reason, I just can't get into doing it, and I don't know why. So um, I seem to be picking up everything else before I pick this one up. And there is no reason for that. Lots of people in the Facebook group have made it and have whizzed through it. The yarn is beautiful. The pattern's really easy to follow. I just don't know why. But there you go. I always believe in being honest about these things. So that's the back. Got two fronts. Now don't panic. I know everybody's going to be going, oh, those ends. Ends don't really bother me. I quite like having an ends party. Spoke about it before. That's where I'm up to on one of the sleeves. And that's the other front. So I actually only have one and a half sleeves to go and the hood. And it looks really simple to sew together. So there is no reason why I should be putting this off. You can tell I haven't actually opened this for a while because it smells of smoke. It smells of my log burner at home. And I've not had that lit for a week or two. So yeah, I can smell that on it then. It usually either smells of that or of rocket. Um, so there you go, that's my third art stories. Like I say, this has been a huge hit. In fact, the thing that's been the biggest hit in the third art stories, and I haven't made one, is the festival hat. So if you go on to um, our free patterns on the website, sorry, I'm eating a bit of alpaca or something, I'm eating a bit of something. Um, if you go on to our website, the room free pattern page, there's the festival hat there. So many people are making it in the make-along group. I've not made one yet because I'm not sure I'd wear it, but I'm still tempted to just have a go because it just looks like so much fun and everybody's using all their ends for it. Um, so that's Sirdar Stories. That's our latest make-along, which is just about coming to an end. Now, I'm going to show you this. 
not going to show you this bit because this is a pattern that I'm working on. Look. How nice is that? They came into the office on Thursday and I did squeal, pick one up and intend and then go around and show everybody just how gorgeous it was. That does happen if I really like something. But look at those colours. This is Shapier's Terrazzo, um, which is a recycled felted tweed yarn. Um, it is very similar to Rowan Felted Tweed. It's not quite got the substance of Rowan Felted Tweed because that is a wool. Not actually sure. I know this is recycled, but I don't know what it's recycled from. And do you know what? Ah, 70% recycled mules thing free wool and 30% recycled viscous. There you go. It doesn't say it on the mini ball bands. Look at all these colours. There, we only have the box in at the moment. We will be getting the yarn in soon. There are 60 colours in these boxes. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? So there you go. That is everything that has been keeping me busy through April. Um, I have already been knitting, stitching, crocheting, etc. for the start of May. So May promises to be a busy month. Take care.